New at 530 tonight, preventing overdoses. First responders are using it, and now two local hospitals are doing so too. It's called Narcan, and it's saving lives. Take a look. This is what's being called a Narcan kit, and two local hospitals will now be distributing kits like these to patients who are at risk or who have been treated for a drug overdose. They receive some education about um, how to assemble the kit and the atomizer. This is delivered in the nose or intranasally. First responders have been using Narcan for some time now, but this appears to be the first time in Rhode Island in which hospitals are joining in. And so many times EMS providers and police are within a five minute response time to those patients if the appropriate 911 system is activated. Sometimes that's not the case. They might be more remote. And so providing the patient with this life saving medication that they could then take home with them and have at home if in the event they should overdose again um, has been shown nationwide to save lives and we believe it will have the same effect here. This comes at a time when the state has seen a surge in overdose deaths, nearly 130 since the start of 2014. You know, we've certainly seen our fair share of that here at Kent Hospital. In addition to Kent Hospital, Butler Hospital is also on board. Together, representatives from both hospitals tell us this is about educating men and women on the dangers and prevention of addiction, in addition to saving lives immediately. We well know that the use of naloxone can be life saving, but our interest is in how this medication can also be life changing. Affiliations with the Providence Center and funding from the state also provide recovery coaches on call to help and counseling. But we asked, could this program encourage more drug use with an antidote so readily available in the case of an overdose? We're told no. Literature supports the fact that this is not the case, that unfortunately those individuals who are addicted will likely use a medication that's prescribed or an illicit drug uh, anyway, so the Narcan does not increase drug use. So Kent just rolled this whole program out this month on August 1st, and Butler started in April.